Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Pause and read the question. Okay, so we've got a spherical balloon. Whenever possible, draw a picture. Pictures always help. I've got a sphere. That sphere, it's a balloon. Air is being pumped into it. At some rate here, my volume is increasing. At this rate, two cubic centimeters per second. I want to know how fast is the radius changing at a particular moment in time. So I want dr dt, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time at a particular moment in time when r happens to be three. So this, this balloon's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So imagine, I'm gonna draw a couple pictures and then erase them. So at first, maybe, maybe the radius is only one. And then it's going to get bigger. The radius is going to get bigger until it gets to two. Then it's going to get bigger and go to three. And then it's going to keep, I mean, if we let this go, it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger, right? Now it's at four. I'm talking about at this moment right here when we were at three. How quickly was the radius changing? at that particular moment. Now, I don't know the time. I'm never, ever going to solve and say at t equals three, 13 seconds. Don't care what the actual time is. But that's some particular moment in time. We're watching this balloon get bigger right at the moment when the radius is three. How quickly is the radius changing? That's our setup. Okay, so I've got two variables of interest here. What are my variables? I guess we've got three if we consider time or independent variables. So we've got time, T, the volume, V, and the radius, R. I need some equation that relates my variables. What's volume of a sphere? V equals four thirds pi r cubed. There's, I've now related, remember these are called related rates. I've related my variables. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to relate, these are, that's why these are called related rates, dv dt, and dr dt. I want some relationship between those. And how do I get that? It's the same every time. Take the derivative with respect to time of both sides. Keeping in mind that these guys here are functions of t. V is a function of time. It's changing. R is a function of time. It's changing as time changes. So I have to use implicit differentiation. The derivative of V with respect to time is dV dt. Don't use prime notation or you're going to confuse yourself. Use Leibniz notation. Use this differential notation. The derivative, the four-thirds pi comes along for the ride. The derivative of junk cubed will be three times junk squared times the derivative of what's inside. We have to use implicit differentiation. The, the derivative of r with respect to time is dr dt. Hey, this is who I'm after. That's what I want. But I don't want it all the time. I want it at one particular moment in time. I want it right then at that moment. What's this? That's dv dt. That's how quickly the volume is changing constantly. So my volume, we're just pumping in two cubic centimeters every second. My volume is increasing at a constant rate. 
This guy is not constant. That's changing. I want to know this guy at that moment when R equals three. So I plug in everything I know. I plug in dv dt, which is always two. These threes cancel. R cubed. What is R? It's three at the moment I care about times dr dt. So let's see, that'd be nine times four. So two equals 36 pi dr dt. So then just divide over dr dt will be, that's one over 18 pi. You can you can check my arithmetic there. What are my units here? I have to have units. What's R measured in? Centimeters? What's time measured in? Seconds. That's how quickly the radius is changing, not the entire time I'm blowing it up. In, in fact, the way this works is that the bigger the balloon is, the slower the radius is changing. The radius changes a lot quicker at the beginning than it does at the end. You know this, you've blown up balloons. At first, they blow up really, they, they increase in size quickly, but then the more air you get into them, the slower they get bigger and bigger. So this, that's the rate of change when at that exact moment, R is three centimeters. That's a good place to stop there.